Here it is. The rescue pack is on sale right now. Grab it, 25% off, just in case you need to be using it in an accident scene. Let's go back, let's watch this. Moment of inattention for the rider to find him. Moment of inattention. Nice swerve, found himself in that escape, got himself out of there. Applied appropriate progressive braking so that we didn't, you know, dump the bike. So swerve. Oh, foot down and then some braking. Okay, scary situation, good job. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this next one. All right, best friend almost crashes. Ooh, his bike. We're going pretty fast. We're going pretty fast. Look at the road surface hazards. Oh, front tire lifted up a little bit. Oh, road surface hazards with high speed. Some speed wobbles. Suspension starting to do this. Not good, everybody. ZX10R. Hey, Deb, is this your bike? <laughs> Catches fire. Hopefully, it's not. Oh no, that's not fun. Okay, doing that, yeah, you might have to, but let's go ahead and apply some progressive braking. Nope, we just hit the ground in a gravity attack. We are on the ground, tire blew up, probably. Maybe chain fell off. This is why we wear full gear, everybody. This is why we wear full gear. Being a smart rider, we're not gonna go that fast, but uh, we're gonna make sure we acquire and use personal protective equipment. I can't have this music playing because it's probably copyrighted. Let's go ahead and move on. Here we go. The bike admitted that he couldn't explain how he oh, oh, oh. out alive. There's not much you can do in that situation other than holding on. He is aiming for the right as best he can, and the bike stabilized itself because of gyroscopic precession. His phone stayed on. That's impressive. Let's take a look. So, going high speeds. Let's go back over here, going high speeds. And then these, these little, uh, these little things, they're either raised or depressed in. So either way, it's not gonna be a smooth surface. And so when we hit it, uh, it's basically hitting an obstacle. Admitted that he couldn't explain how- You see how the, the, the bumpiness, but we're going at a high speed. How fast were we going? Does it say? Does it say? Can't tell. That he couldn't. But we're going probably going pretty fast, and so when we hit that bump, Explain it's gonna to get out alive. Start doing that with that suspension. So speed wobble is pretty scary. This is uh, impressive that the bike stayed up and we didn't hit anybody because he's not really in control. And it's a quad lock ad, right? Um, that thing stayed on. Thankfully, he stayed on. Let's go ahead and shut the bike off. Check our bike and see what's going on with that. All right, are we on? An e-bike. Let me give you a little clue. You fall off your bike, the car behind you runs over your head. Are you gonna hit so me then, too? You gonna hit me too? You got the money for it? You got the money for it? Unlicensed vehicle. Yeah, I'm illegal. I'm legal too. Guess what? I'm legal. What are you gonna do about it? Holy. Yeah, we got. We just watched. That's a nice little. Is that a Chiron? Driving normal. We just watched uh, some people do this earlier. You know, bikes have the whole. And now this street. guy's just getting you know pissed. The bikes have the whole street, right? Yeah, you know, bikes have the whole lane. See what happens. Bikes have the whole lane. Bikes have the whole lane. So now we got the guy in the Ford. Yeah, read the law. Yeah, yeah. Be careful for a You're on camera, buddy. You're on camera. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, they. It's a. It's a new thing. People don't. They don't like new stuff. They don't like new stuff. So e-bikes, yeah, you're allowed to utilize the whole lane if you really want to. I mean, cyclists do it. Um, it's just that with the e-bikes, we're actually going the speed limit. So it makes people a little, uh, they don't like it. They don't like it. Um, what are you do about so it? his whole thing about like, if you fall down, your head's going to get run over. It's like, why, what? Why are we even doing that? He just wanted to say something, whatever. This rider did, did fine. I'd wear some gear because even, even on an e-bike, it doesn't really matter. If you crash, you crash, and you're going to rip up your body. And so just just kind of move on at that point. Um, that e-bike's probably expensive. I wouldn't want it to get hurt. I get hurt. I want to get damaged. Street Demon PC. Here we go. Oh. It was all his fault caused by riding too confidently for his ability. 
He was okay. fortunate to get out of it in one piece. Too confident for his ability. Good job, Moto Stars. I'm glad he was able to recognize that. So we're going through traffic, going pretty fast, almost hitting things. Ooh, ooh. So we're going in and out of traffic, we're going high speed, we're not planning our ride very well. We're not assessing that these are, act uh, we're not locating and assessing these are actively uh, act actual problems and relevant threats and then navigating around it. Right here, he kind of got stuck. Um, what do we do here? He could have swerved to the left onto the shoulder, but you know, he likes, he likes doing his thing. And we get to this point, so high speed, with an impact. So when we talk about open book fracture, and I made a comment uh, in the, I think it was in the last live stream where, or even two live streams ago, I basically every live stream now at this point, is that uh, Google open book traumatic open book fracture, and you're you're gonna hate that, right? Uh, people are commenting I should not have called or not not have googled that. So this is what it looks like. Thankfully, we have a a nice view from the rear camera here. So when I say that you're gonna be sliding across. You're gonna be sliding across the gas tank and your, your pelvis, your genitalia is gonna slide up, right? The open book is gonna be that front end of your pelvis splitting open traumatically. Not good. I had, a, I had a dear friend have that issue and it's not a lot of people survive it. So thankfully he did. And so that's what it looks like. So he's gonna slide up onto the gas tank. We're gonna start having some, uh, some crushing going on. And there's our legs going onto the uh, the handlebar, so we have possible bilateral femur fractures, and then our pelvis hits the dash, so things start breaking at this point. Hands start going forward, having the skier stumps, so th thumbs can get snapped off, and by snapped off I mean internal uh, dislocation and snapping the tendons and ligaments. Then we have our face into the back of the truck, shoulder, chest, everything. Probably got knocked out. That's why it was kind of hanging off. Camera gets knocked over here. It's pushed up forward. Handlebars are what kept him on the bike. He's unconscious at this point. Completely unconscious on this point. Or at this point. He's got some gear. But then that vehicle hits him. Let's see if we can get it right on the frame where it there it is. <sighs> Supposedly, I read, I re I'm reading in the chat that he survived, so I'm assuming he did not get run over by the semi. Um, I wonder what kind of injuries he's got, because that is a multi-system. That's so much. I mean, your your rib cage, so then you have your organ damage, your your musculoskeletal system, your circulatory system. Ah. And the camera gets knocked out. This is the, the 360 camera now. It's off on the side. Oh. Whew. Ride safe, everybody. We hit a bump. You see the road surface hazards? Let's take a quick look at this. So this is one of the problems, and or not one of the problems, but one of the things that you have to watch out for when it comes to riding at night is that you can't see a lot of the road surface hazards. And so riding within your the, the, the headlight that you have uh, is important. What I mean by that is being able to swerve within the distance that you see, being able to brake within the distance that you see, being able to avoid uh, obstacles with the distance that you see is very important. So if you go too fast, your total stopping distance and total uh, time to be able to react is, is limited. So the road looks a little wonky. Look at that. A little wonky. Looks like he's standing up too a little bit. Maybe he's trying to go over the obstacles, which is great. But he probably hit a pothole. Not good. Not good. This is why we wear gear, just in case. Just in case something happens, this is why we wear gear. Okay. All right, here we go. Going through the mountains. The guy went a little wide over there. Yeah, that guy went a little wide. Now he's going a little wide here. So trying to keep up with his buddies. So when I say a little wide, let's take a look at this rider right here. First, let's look at this rider. Going to stay within the lane, right? Looks pretty good, right? Now look at the rider that just crashed. Watch him go on the line. 
Look at that. See how wide he went? So he's going wide and then going wide and going wide. So he's going too fast for his abilities. Not going too fast because he's keeping up with everyone else and they can handle it, right? Going too fast for his abilities. So if that's the case, slow it down. It's okay to, to, keep, to create a gap. And if your buddies, if you're talking to each other on your pack talks, if your buddies want to get in front of you, just tell everyone, hey, I'm going to get in the back. You guys are going too fast for me. So he's going too wide here. So he's still going too fast. I'm sorry, he's going too fast and too wide on that one. He's going too fast for this turn. And now he's going to go wide here. But this one has a higher, higher uh, risk because we have the guardrail. So we lost some traction, dumped the bike. The bike is done. Yeah, you don't put your foot down in a street in a turn, no. 93 premium Ubi. Here we go. We got an open lane pattern right here. Our lane is moving. Their lane isn't. There's the merge. There it is. You guys saw that, right? Write in the comments. BSR. BSR rider. So that's a basic smart rider rider. The We have the BSR... Um, course on on the mtc rider academy you could download the smart rider uh, drill booklet the rescue booklet um the phone friendly version you can download all that stuff take the course itself the basic smart rider and uh currently working on an even better version of it this is going to be the third version of the basic course so check it out links in the description for the mtc rider academy it's on a scooter Okay, road surface, we got some rain, maybe some oil got kicked up, and now we're slipping and sliding everywhere. Hopefully hands are fine, hopefully leg is fine. Oh, there's, the, yeah, there's oil. There's got to be something. Got to be something. It wasn't, I don't think it was the driver's or the rider's fault. There's something in the road. Our buddy, or not even our buddy, the other rider pulled over to help. Oof. You have to progressively break when you are trying to stop on your feet. So doing little tip it taps versus like stop and then sliding because <laughs> this is what happens. Tailbone. Ah. It looks downhill. It's probably downhill. Cobalt. All right. This guy going to move out in front of us? No. Oh, so we're... Oh, cured by great track, job. Right? Was utterly invisible to the... So, yeah, utterly invisible. Yeah, what is that called, everybody? That's a line of sight issue. Can't see that... You can't see the driver. That driver can't see you. We have an escape to our left. This is a great job, by the way. So great positioning. Look how we're over on the left. So if we had to swerve, we could just do real quick. We're locating a hazardous situation, assessing if there's anything there. I can't see it, so I'm going to be covering my brakes anyways. And we're going to navigate anything that comes out at us. And once we see this, oh, they're not stopping. There's that swerve. Great job. What's only fear? Look at it. If we didn't swerve, we would have hit that vehicle. This person literally save their own lives lives their own life great job great job with the swerve and then we got to swerve back there we go we have an intersection now so we're back into orange stage we just we just achieved um you know safety back there now we got to do it up here good job okay we're getting merged into go ahead and get into the left Accelerate out of here because you don't want to stay in the shoulder for there you go too long get back into our lane Very good. And that's it Good job. Okay, watch out for that open spot right there. They're moving in. They saw it and then you honked. Okay We're gonna move on very good Okay, watch out this is a bad position because I, I, I don't have a lot of sp space cushion Okay, that person merged in front of us, but I'm looking ahead too. Now we have a good space cushion. Yes, people can get in, but it is what it is. Now we're going a little fast. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Good job with the brakes. Good job with the brakes. If we had to, we can accelerate. But it ha handled it. Boom, boom. Telephone near. Totally unnecessary driver behavior that first frightened the rider and ended his ride very unpleasantly. We get hit from behind. 
I see the car, I see the car, I see the car in his mirror. In his there, ah. Uh, that's because he stalled. I, I wonder what that whole deal was. Here we go. Let's move on. Oh, dropping some pieces of uh, concrete. Man. Some aggregate. Rocks. Did you guys see that? Well, that you don't stay behind you don't stay behind cement trucks or trucks that carry rock you just don't they even tell you not to and it's kind of common knowledge at this point even in a car you don't want your your car's windshield to get destroyed and paint getting ripped off the front and he hit a hit a bump it's not really his fault Man. i think this was just more of a i want to have a reaction Lorenzo Drago going through. Oh, going a little wide. We went a little wide. Let's, how are we going to do what? What happened? Oh, person behind crashed. Rescue. Time to rescue. Looks like they're moving. Let's get them out of the way because we don't want to be in the road because it's a blind turn right there. We don't know if anybody's going to be coming around that corner. We don't know if anybody's going to come around the other one and then hit us. All right. We have a turn come up ahead. Big, big boy right here. Let's go ahead and move over. It's a wide truck, wide tractor. There we go. Moving on. Handled it very good. Very good. I'm used to that in, uh, in Yuma, Arizona. Not ones that big. He just went through a stop sign. We're going to turn. They're going to turn. Good job with the progressive breaking in a corner. We just went through a stop sign, though, right? Yeah, we went through a stop sign. That person also cut through. These these motorcycles are just doing whatever they want in this country. They're, they they he's cut the line and just went left. So good job with the progressive braking, but we're putting ourselves in bad situations, and that's what's going to happen. It's better not to put yourself in these situations than to have to like make up for it with uh, really good <laughs> emergency maneuvers. <laughs> And that's the thing. Okay, well, let's let's watch this. Let's watch this. Okay, side of the vehicle. We slow it down. We might switch lanes. We're in slow mo. Let's go ahead and flip them off. No, let's not do that. So a lot of people tend to take more risks when they have more skills. I don't like doing that. I like to have more skills and maintain my low risk so that it's just not going to happen. Things aren't just going to happen to me. I'm not going to put myself in positions where I have to utilize those skills. I just want to have them just in case. Hi from Italy, Gabriel. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go and move on. Moving on. Here we go. Ted's Moto Adventures. Here we go. Is that a Helite jacket? We have deer, maybe. You notice how the, the shade really messes with your vision. So he's going to good speed, handling. Ooh, nice little decreasing radius. Slow it down if you can. Did we just hit some uh, some gravel? Oh, that's just a regular, that's just a regular backpack. I thought that was a heat light. I like that backpack. He's got full leathers. Very good. I like that. He's not gonna feel most much of that. Yeah, nice little slow mo. Right, Full gear, love it, love it, love it. Good. That was kind of weird. That was weird. Yeah. Gravel. Or something. Gravel. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Slow down. I'm okay. <sighs> slow down, dude. You don't need to be giving advice, especially after something like this. That's like a shameful advice. So let's take a look at this. We're coming up to here. He's going at good speed, but then you notice it's just a crazy looking decreasing radius. Sun gets in your eyes. I see that in the chat. But then like, where's the gravel? There's some gravel on the road. Okay, that can make a difference. So on these, if you can slow it down even more and stay away from the inside and kind of go a little bit out there. But overall, we're gonna learn from that. It fell down. Thankfully, he's got a full face, full gear, full everything. Uh, mistakes happen. Being a smart rider, acquiring using personal protective equipment yeah, is going to be the thing that's okay. going to keep him riding. Let's take a look at this. All right, moving on. Go 
going pretty fast. Having some fun. Find the escape. Okay. Find the escape. Whenever I see... Not that, but... Let's see if I can get it right on there. Whenever I see, like, a long line of cars in the left... Like, in the other lane, especially around here when I have that line of sight issue, that, that gives me that orange stage feel. Because you never know if somebody wants to, to pass. That's a scary situation. So good job finding that escape path. Got himself out of there. Let's just go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, stop sign. Here we go. Looking both ways. We have a line of sight issue with the brush on the right, I think. Yep. But it's a turn, so we can see around the turn. Anybody wanting to pull out? Ooh, there's a nice little U-turn person. Oh, oh, they want to back in. Excellent not, move, lady. Not a, not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> it's your job to yield if, if they're still in the, in the lane. All right, line of sight. Going to open up the view. He's looking. He's looking. Very good. He can see. We're going to move. That's fine. There's room. And yeah, they can, they can move over, but don't anticipate that they're going to. Don't anticipate that they're going to move over. Okay, how long are we? There we go. So now we're moving over. Not a big deal. There's so much room. No, come on. Come on. There's so much room. It's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal, everybody. But once again, we do have the rescue pack on sale right now. 25% off. Check it out. Links in the description. And then the smart rider training drills. If you want to practice your drills. There's a bunch of them in here. Uh, that is also 20% off. So check it out. Links in the description. With that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I will see you guys later.